Hello, welcome captains, my name is Adam and in this video we're going to be having a look at some new add-ons and we're going to be having a first look at Mega Scenery Earth, Texas. So welcome to the uh, the video. Um, I've just noticed a plane here trying to get on the runway, so uh, we'll let them take off. And um, this is a new series of videos that I'm uh, doing. Uh, re a viewer requested this a few uh, weeks back, in fact. So um, I uh, finally getting around to doing it, and there's going to be a lot more of these coming. This is like an inst installation guide slash first look at uh, some Mega Scenery Earth products, and we're starting with Texas. Uh, the Great State of Texas. It's uh, it's very big. It's it's so big, in fact, that they had to split it up into three different products, Mega Scenery Earth. Um, um, but we've got all three, and we're going to have a, a before and after look at the entire state. So I've chosen about five different runways to take off from in both the north, the south, the east, the west, and the central area. And we're going to have a look around when uh, it's without the Mega Scenery Earth. And we're going to fly at an altitude of 30,000 feet. And then we're going to come down to 10,000 feet and have a look at what it looks like in both. Um, and we'll do that at each airport. So a little bit of info about uh, the great state of Texas. I used to live there myself. Uh, it's got its own website, texas.gov. Go check it out. Uh, 28 million people live in Texas per its landmass, which is over 268,000 square kilometers uh, there's not that many people when you compare it to Britain how small it is how many people are jammed in um, its uh, capital city is Austin which a lot of uh, UKers mistake it for Houston which is only just the largest city in te Texas and the the largest metropolis in Texas is Dallas Fort Worth that's where I used to live um, there's a lot of uh, interesting things to uh, talk about the Lone Star State, but you know what? Uh, let's get into the sim here and have a look around. So um, we're here. Where are we? This is a just like a, I guess, a, an airport, an airfield um, in Paris called Cox. So uh, let's say Paris. There's the Paris in Texas. So and we're in Corpus Christi, which is in the southern Texas, and we are at some sort of random airfield, I think, or strip called Dean. Um, and it literally is just a random strip. It's literally got nothing around except for this road that seems to travel through it. I think it's a road anyway. It doesn't look that big, but uh, it must be a road. And we're here at Odessa, Texas, uh, which is to the west of Texas. And this is a uh, field called Bates Field, um, which is another sort of random strip by the looks of it with no buildings out in the middle of nowhere. So we are in central Texas, San Angelo, and we are at a regional airport this time. So here we are in our final location. This is an international airport in northern Texas, in Armarillo, uh, called the Rick Hus Husband International. Um, it has what looks like a nice little uh, property uh, development place behind it there. Um, it's got a nice long runway and there is the airport over there, international airport. We'll climb into the aircraft and uh, as you can note, uh, the, this test will basically involve like a before and after. So we're going to fly up, we're going to fly um, five different uh, runways, we're all going to have a look at them, and then we're going to come back and do the five different after uh, we've installed Mega Scenery Earth and, and go through, um, not the installation of the product, because I've already done that, but the insertion into the sim. The installation is pretty simple, you just need to follow the steps when you click on the installation when you buy it. And we'll have a look at the website as well, where we get it from. One thing to note here is our frames per second. Our frames per second at the moment is roughly around 45 in the cockpit. Uh, it was about 60 when we were outside, but um, it's 45 now. He's waiting to take off, he's going to be angry with us. 
if we don't take off. So we, we best get this sucker to the air. Right, so. Um, all my settings you can see there. Uh, I've got this Chill Blast Nimbus 3 PC overclocked to a beast of a rig. So we're in southern Texas and we're we're quite close to the shore here. So uh, we might be able to see the lake, the the sea. Um, the only thing with these reviews, or that's not a review, sorry, but the only thing with these first looks is I don't set the um, fuel. It's unlimited fuel, which means I need to literally use all the length of runway to take off. 90, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get up, 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 get up. So, here we go. And for some reason, this plane don't really want to get up to speed either, so. Right, let's uh, take this mother to the air. I've tweaked up a lot of stuff. So, here we go. Now, what have we got displaying in the sim at the moment? So, as we take off, the, the, the textures down there are Orbex Global and Orbex the land class for North America pull that up and uh, what are we running here again we're running default uh, Orbex Global uh, North America land class uh, vector um, and there's another one but I forget and then whatever P3D throws in there as well let's get the uh, landing gear up there we go that was weird. It's it's not giving me the power properly I need. I don't know why. So there's a bit of drag for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's the air pressure in Texas. Right. So here we are, Bates Field. Um, a lot more sort of open, expansive area now. Oh my life! Barely got that off into the air. Um, Okay, so here we are. Uh, nice little lake here at the end of the airport. Some houses. Nice big uh, city over there. That will kill our frames as we take off. So uh, there's the airport. Uh, Rick Husband. That is brought to you by the Rex Airport's HD add-on. Um, and you can tell that by the grass, really, that surrounds the runways. It, it always has that ugh look. Um, until you get an update. Uh, the good thing about the Mega Scenery Earth package is that it actually comes with photo aligned airports um, for the whole state of Texas if you're using the uh, Mega Scenery Earth, which is pretty cool because uh, we can then see the difference between the two. So here is the landscape. It's, uh, it's pretty much like um, the one we just came from. So, I mean, as you can see, like, the, the, the landscape below is just your sort of almost generic green, blah, you know? Uh, land class, the sort of landscape around here is a bit more barren with fields and that. Little bit of cities down there, for what it looks like. Um, and there is the ocean out there, I, I'm, I'm guessing. This kind of reminds me of Florida a little bit. Um, ocean looks a little bit too tropical for my liking. Bit weird. This is what uh, what I would more imagine um, Texas down in the west or over in the west to be like. Uh, I lived in Dallas, Fort Worth, so I was over in the uh, east. So it was just like living in a suburb and like a normal suburb anywhere else, but it was just hot. But uh, this is a little bit more expansive, a little bit more less people, I imagine. We've seen, um, I think, quite a nice diversity. Um, we haven't seen any classical monuments of Texas. We've just literally taken off from three, uh, sorry, five different airports, having a look around, and then heading on to the next one, really for time. Um, I thought this would have a bit more desert, being this is to the north. Um, a few, a lot of lakes dotted around. But yeah, I thought this would have a lot uh, less drier terrain. What do we get? That's pretty sweet, that is. I like that. That's pretty nice. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Um, everything's looking nice and crisp. Everything's looking pretty cool. Yeah. Standard stuff, really, isn't it? And, uh, I mean, 
yeah, there's a few lakes surrounding this place, but um, yeah. So we'll head back in the cockpit real quick, and we will take her down to ten thousand feet. And we can have a look now. The reason I chose this particular aircraft is because of the view that you get with the cockpit. You know, it opens it up here to where I can see a lot uh, of view. Um, I didn't want to do a Cessna plane, they're kind of really slow um, and I wanted to get into the air very quickly and I didn't want to do a jumbo or some sort of big airliner because well again they're a bit slow um, in the maneuverability and I wanted to be able to turn real quickly to show you things and the cockpit windows are just far too small so this default plane that I got with P3D allows me to not only maintain a good frame rate but also um, have a look at the world around and that's what we're here to see so let's uh, bring the sucker up and uh, even at 10,000 feet I mean mm, I wouldn't say things are put together well would you I mean I think it's because I've got blue marble installed as well with Orbex that it kind of they cut into each other and I think if I just had um, Orbex or I just had blue marble it probably would look a lot better down below um, but uh, I I myself just prefer the best of both worlds so here we are let's get up to 10,000 now and even at this level uh, I think it looks pretty cool you know yeah it does it does very nice again this is Orbex so you know you know what you're gonna get with Orbex um, there's also blue marble down there as well um, throwing some extra stuff on there um, all working together. Um, yeah, it's looking all right. The water does look a bit tropical to my, my liking, but okay, whatever. But anyway, let's head up to 30,000 feet now, and let's see what we got. I mean, even at this altitude, it's nice, so I imagine it's still going to be just as nice. Yeah, it, it kind of looks worse, to be honest, from up here, uh, the world. I think it looks better at 10,000 feet, which is weird. But, um, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Whatever. Right, let's uh, get outside the aircraft. Very strange looking textures down there. Swirling masses of weirdness. Yeah, actually that looks a little bit better. That looks okay. But what do you think this looks like? You know, let me know in the comments below what do you think default looks like. And when I say default, it's Orbex and P3D default with blue marble. It's not default P3D, which would probably look a lot worse than this. At the end of the day, Mega Scenery. Ooh, it's a bit uh, close there. Mega Scenery Earth is is exactly what Ortho for X plane is. There's a couple of tiles that are dotted around, a bit weird, but it does seem to be happening happening quite a lot in this particular area. Or it could be the Orbic Scenery. Um, we will only know when we load Mega Scenery. In. So there we go. That's that. Look at it from there. We didn't do 10,000 feet on the last one, did we? My bad. Yep. Yeah, apart from the black squares, I think uh, it looks okay when you look at it like this. You know, straight down like that. It looks, it looks adequate. It looks okay. Obviously, these are planes, rolling planes of nothing, um, with patchy cities here and there and everywhere. It really does give you a sense of how big Texas is here, when you have vast expanses of nothing. You know, I don't know why that's square. Right, let's head on down to thirty uh, ten thousand. So frames have come back up 
uh, as we approach this height. We took off from somewhere around over there. Okay. It looks okay, doesn't it? Now, when we do come back to Mega Scenery Earth, I'm going to remove the camera. You're not going to see me at all. We're just going to be seeing what Mega Scenery Earth give us. Um, but let me know in the comments if you even like the camera on me or not. But there's a city down there. Let's sort of approach that city a bit. green there we seem to be going down that fast do we let's, uh, let's point down a little bit more see the density of the uh, city coming in a bit more now Yeah, 10,000 feet, um, Orbex and Default look a lot better than they do at the moment. Ten thousand coming in, coming in. There's like a park down there, like a giant park. San Angelo. Here we are, 10,000 feet. Let's have a look. Level it off. Trim that sucker. Alright, there we go. 10,000. Uh, yeah. Looking okay. But yeah, very nice. Orbex does a wonderful job, I feel. Some bridges down there. Highways, you can see. Very nice, very nice. Actual bridges, lovely. Yeah. I'm happy with that. What I see is nice, you know. Mega Scenery is going to have to really give us something good here. To sort of match this viewpoint so that is Odessa Texas no it's not that is San Angelo Texas so there we have it um, very expansive even less sort of cities dotted around what well, probably why we get the higher frame rates um, there's one there a lot of lakes lying around um, very expansive Texas is very expansive so let's uh, let's take this sucker down to ten thousand feet, and I'm just going to drop it like a rock. I'm going to do an Adam special here. Probably see. Oh god, I'm about to pass out. Look at that! I'm doing it so fast. I was about to pass out. So very patchy. Um, terrain tiles so here we go we'll just go straight uh, ahead for whatever is ahead of us I don't want to hit over a, a sort of populated area this time because we did that last time so we're, uh, we're 500 miles an hour almost bombing it down to the ground but uh, yeah Here we go. That's what it looks like. Texturing always looks better, I feel, at 10,000 feet than it does up higher. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be the opposite for Mega Scenery Earth. I think it's going to look better up higher than it does down like this. Because that looks pretty nice. I quite like the look of this texturing here does look really sort of 
Up higher, it does. It doesn't look as nice, but uh, down here, very nice. Right, so that's it, guys. So what we're gonna do now? Let's just have a look around outside. Is we're going to uh, shut this one down now. Um, we're gonna head over to the website. We're gonna have a look at the page for Mega Scenery Earth, and then we're gonna install that, and then fly the exact same five airports and uh, see what it looks like. See if it looks better. So I'll see you in a moment, guys. Okay, so uh, just going away and sort of installing the software. And while it's doing that, and sort of while we're prepping it for the installation into the sim, I thought I'd just head over to Mega Scenery page here and have a look at the, the three um, products that they offer. This is where I bought mine from. Um, I got the Southern Eastern, I got the Western, and I got the North Eastern. And them three make up the Texas state. It's very big, but, uh, and it's greatly detailed. It really does tell you, that's how it's all um, created there. So you got the Northeast Texas, the Southeast Texas, and the Western Texas. And I chose the five uh, airports kind of based, so we see all three regions. So Corpus Christi, uh, somewhere down here, is where we went to one of them. And then uh, another one was just about here. Um, and then another one was up here, another one here, and another one just over here. I didn't want to choose the major states like Dallas and Houston and Austin. Um, I feel like there's plenty of videos on YouTube about that. So I went for the areas that are less known. One thing you get with them is you get your photo aligned airports free. Um, even if you'd like you wanted to download them now, you could. Um, and they're really helpful. They're really good. They really do the airport justice as well. Um, I find them valuable. Um, and the good thing about Mega Scenery Earth is, I mean, not only do they give you a rundown of like the latest sort of technology that's running in on their their textures, but also they give you a few ideas to go and fly. So you've got the Rio Grande River. You've got some parks some national state forests mountains and hills lakes and cities um, we've actually hit a few of these here a uh, couple and um, and also you get a load of charts when you download it you get built in with the installation is loads of charts and there are terminal charts for airports there are re sectional charts for high altitude low altitude and they're really good um, I haven't used them yet properly because I haven't flown a plane that requires the use of them, but I do find them helpful. Um, I really do. So that's Texas. That is the uh, Mega Scenery Earth. And what you get when you buy um, these products is you'll get an installer. And you literally run the installer. Uh, you decide where you want it to be stored. It could be outside of the sim. I've got mine on a separate hard drive altogether. And the more hard drives that you store your Mega Scenery Earth products on, the uh, the better your performance is because they all load in simultaneously, which means A, it's quicker to load in, and B, it's less stress on the C drive, which is less stress on the sim, and it's better all around. Quicker loading times and better performance. And um, and yeah, that's basically it. Let's uh, We're going to head off now to our first airport, which I believe is uh, the airport Cox in Paris, which was the east side of Texas, which is somewhere around here. Hello everybody, welcome back into the sim, and here we are in Texas. We are in the east side of Texas in a city called Paris, and this is an airfield called Cox, C-O-X, and we have installed all of Mega Scenery, uh, there's the three areas, and we've put in the uh, photo aligned airports, and we are good to go. And uh, if you ever find that you have any um, graphical problems or anomalies when you open up your sim, I'm going to put a link to one of the fixes down uh, in the comment section below to where you can easily fix that graphical glitch and it's something that I do after I, I install every single scenery um, into my sim um, because you know I do get glitches when I load up the sim first time 
and there's like a series of steps that I have to run through every single time and it fixes it every single time so I'll put that in the link below so here we are back in um, Orbex weather doing its thing uh, frames are pretty much the same as when we left um, although on the ground I'm pretty sure in the last uh, segment it was a little bit lower so let's get this to the air now and let's see what we've got to play with so um, I can't wait to be honest <laughs> we're gonna head up to 30,000 feet and then we're gonna come down to 10,000 feet I think we might even be taking off from a slightly different runway I'm not 100% sure um, but here we go so as soon as we pass the 3,000 uh, feet mark which is now I'm gonna have a look out the window and that is what we have very very different to what Orbex gave us very similar almost though at the same time in terms of the uh, way it's laid out um, but yeah very different very much more natural I would say there we go that's straight and level for me and let's have a look outside now oh hello what have we here um, that is very strange that is that is I don't know what to say to that because this looks like Orbex here and then this looks like uh, mega scenery earth but this is a great uh, sort of here you go here's literally a side-by-side -side comparison of the two all right so obviously where they join isn't very favorable for either um, it's a shame they don't sort of mesh in, into each other, but um, yeah, let's uh, let's head back over into Mega Scenery Land because we're actually f going into Oklahoma. That was interesting, wasn't it? Um, so down below is Texas, where we were before, um, and I think, to be honest, this looks a little bit more uh, naturally photoreal, you know. Um, than it did before. The colors are slightly more greener than they were. Um, I don't know if that would be accurate or not. But um, yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think it does look better. There's more detail down there than what Orbex could give us. You know, there's smaller little things like these strips of trees that run off everywhere. You know, you didn't get that with uh, Orbex. And these these patches here, which just look sort of like meh patches. Um, you know, they, they come out a lot better than um, before. You know, you can almost see the terrain, um, the way these the, the, they follow the, the line. It's like um, ridges, isn't it? So you almost like geo, uh, geographically, you can see where the hilltops are, the peaks of these uh, lines, or like a peak of a hill. Or something it's uh, it's a lot more interesting there's a lot more to have a look at and explore I feel you know to have to sort of stare at it you know it's like that looks a lot better and there's color variety it's more dynamic as well I'm loving it right let's head down to 10,000 and we'll just dive bomb it really and uh, we'll have a look at see what we get so um, I can see a river down there. That looks uh, kind of interesting as well. The uh, I, I I'd really think that the, I mean it stands out a lot better, um, and they do offer as well high res ultra cities. I think um, Dallas is one of them actually, where it's even higher detail than what you see down here. No, no, fifty centimeters. Sorry is the high-res cities um, their texture mapping here goes is one meter per pixel that's what it is so this is one meter per pixel the same resolution actually as the uh, the mesh that um, thingy provides and from this height here this looks fantastic I'm loving this look at that this is ace the forests down there with the the road cutting through you know, let's roll it to this side. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. 
much more uh, dynamically interesting than Orbex ever could give us. I mean, that you can properly see detail. If we zoom in, I mean, look at that. Like, this type of detail down here, you don't get with Orbex. Um, totally, yeah. I'm on board, definitely. In fact, let's... Uh, Let's look at it like this. I think this will be a, a better way to explore Mega Scenery Earth. Right. We are slightly going higher, but that's better. So, if we do that now. I mean, look at that. There's just so many points of interest here to check out. These All these forest bits here and... All the roads are in there, you know, and obviously this covers the vector data. So honestly, if you have Mega Scenery Earth, you don't need your vector um, data installed. I keep mine installed for the coastlines because vector also has uh, coastline information. So I do keep it for that as well. Some lovely um, a golf course down there by the looks of it. Um, so much more nicer to look at anyway okay we need to move on to the next one so um i'm gonna i'm gonna now load up our next uh, field which was uh down south in corpus christi so i'll see you in a moment guys corpus christi in that dean airfield that we came across and uh, do you remember that line that road that came through just back here well, that is that road that um, looks more like they've spray painted a football pitch and more so than a road. But we are uh, quite low to the ground. So to be honest, the uh, the only issue with mega scenery texturing or this type of photoreal texturing is that when you're on the ground, it does look kind of pants until you hit like a, a level of 3000 feet. Now, uh, another side effect is is because this is real data terrain. That you're seeing this is actual photo real terrain you're not seeing someone's representation of the grass strip or the airfield of the airport this is the actual ground texturing obviously with the uh the grass uh, overlay from dreswick ziki design put on top so um the airfield that was represented from orbex is gone is <laughs> not here we haven't got that airfield strip anymore so it is what it is um we've still got to take off so we are pointed in the right direction so we should see a nice difference though gosh that is very different than what we were given that is proper desert the the, the textures down there are orbix global terrain that is oh my gosh right so so here we are at thirty thousand feet now and uh, frames have improved slightly. And uh, the landscape, oh my gosh, look at that. Look how much difference that makes over what we got given before. Like, what we got given before was, oh my gosh. But this is on another level. Like, all this green here, but then you've got all these deserty looking things. Like, Orbex did not look anything like this. It looked a lot more drab, a lot more, uh, you know. This looks absolutely amazing. Look at that, look at that water down there. Even the water, the way it's re uh, represented. And okay, the sea doesn't look the same, but I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Right, let's, uh, let's do a turn here, because I think we're beginning to fall. We'll, um, we'll go down to 10,000 feet. Look at that. Now that is ace. Um, I think if you have uh, mega scenery mixed in with blue marble and, and black marble especially, um, the night environments that you get with black marble, oops, um, 
actually go on top of photoreal textures like this. They sit on top. So if you have night environment for any any area of let's say Texas, it will then showcase this at night. In fact, let's do a little test here with the uh, world preview, and let's see what kind of. I mean, first off, we need a place that's going to have like a city almost to be able to see it. But does this give us any type of night lighting offered with it? I'm guessing no. But as the sun sets slowly into the west, we bond you, we bid you a fond farewell. Look at that. Boom. There's the night sky. There's Stargazer. But I'm not seeing any lights being displayed. But then we're not exactly in rural... Uh, uh, we're not in a suburb, are we, really? But yeah, there's no night lighting offered with Mega Scenery, sadly. Such a shame. But if I had the night environment installed from um, Chris Bell, that actually would go on top of this. So, yay. But there we go. That is that. I mean, I can't get over the way this looks. It looks amazing. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Gosh. Okay, so we're back here in our third airport, which is in the west side of Texas, Odessa. The uh, Bates uh, Field, I think it's called. There wasn't a lot to shout out about uh, in this terrain. So maybe it's the air pressure in Texas. Right, so here we are, Bates Field. Um, so having a quick look now, yeah. It's like a uh, desert. It's like the Grand Canyon. Right, so here we are back at 30,000 feet. And just having a look out. Oh my gosh. There is absolutely no comparison between this and what Orbex and default P3D were giving us. This, it's clearly night and day with what you would get. I mean, look at that. All that lovely detail down there. Um, you can clearly make out the suburbs areas uh, where there's homes and then just the emptiness of the countryside where there isn't anything. Um, it's just, it's like, oh my gosh, you know? Um, I don't really either see. Let's do the old uh, flip the bird trick. I don't really see any graphical issues either. Um, it all looks pretty much like it should, really. It looks gorgeous, I tell you. It looks really gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely A1 in my book. Um, beautiful. Right. So. It really, really does change. Look at that. I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. So, let's now um, head down to 10,000 feet. Because it just, it just looks so much different. And so much better than um, what we had before. I mean, if you're flying heavies, if you're flying big jets then this is what you want to be getting. You want to be playing with this sort of stuff in, in your sim. Because just look at that. You know? Top Gun. You know? This looks ace. I feel like playing some Danger Zone music or something, you know? <laughs> um, yeah blown away absolutely blown away by what they've done okay we're back here again and this time we're at an international airport the rick husband in northern texas of armarillo and as you can see we now have got gorgeous runway there um and as you can see the, the landscape around is pretty barren there are no homes there are no houses or trees because Mega scenery will kill it, but the bridges, by the looks of it, do remain, which is pretty cool. That's I like. I do like that, and see if it'll be nice, which it is. Um, already, it's uh, 
looking great. So let's uh, let's string this into the air. We're going to head up to 30,000 feet. Nothing I'll do. Right. We still do sending a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Right. So looking outside the window. Oh my gosh. You can just see the ridges, can't you? Look at that. You can just see the ridges of all the uh, the peaks around here. You know, I mean, there is no way to replicate this within the Orbix uh, P3D default, is there? It's just stunning again. <laughs> I'm so glad we're at 35,000 feet here. Um, I'm so glad we have mega scenery. You know, I mean, look at these circles here. Like, we never saw that, did we? These fields that they have for harvesting. Uh, we never saw any of that. It was like a canyon system. Do you know what? I want to fly over to that canyon system first. Hang on, let me... Uh, we will go check out that town, but I just want to check out... There's like a canyon over here. See the ridges? I want to belt it over there first. I mean, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Gosh almighty. We didn't see any of this before, did we? Um, but the bumpiness would have been there. But it just wouldn't have had the same look to it as we're flying over it right now. Um, I mean, look, you can even go lower, really. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Gosh. Right. Let's uh let's do a top gun move now. Because we need to head down towards whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that city. Um <clears throat> there's a city down here. Where was it? I've lost it now. Yeah, they're very nice. Look at that, very nice. And that's probably as detailed as we'll get it, as we fly over that one. Probably as detailed as it will get. Got a football field there. Right, okay, so that is the international one and, and this part of the world. I mean, there is just so much to see. Look, I mean, you could follow that highway and just see where it goes. There's the, the fields here of farming and there's just... There is so much to explore in the state of Texas, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so here we are at our final uh, airport, our final destination. We're in central Texas. We're in San Angelo, and this is a regional airport this time, um, which uh, does look kind of nice. Uh, it's got some nice hills in the background here. Um, of course, you can see the airport, and um, nothing out there but flat terrain. Okay. So, let's see what this looks like from the air. Right, we're near, we're near or close to 40,000 feet than we are, but we'll, that's okay. I mean, look at that. That's just amazing. I mean, you don't get this with Orbex, do you? What we got was very generic placement of just very generic things. This is just, oh my life. I just can't, no words. No words. To describe it I mean even when it's boring terrain like this here is kind of like there's a lot of the same stuff it's still visually stunning it's still absolutely gorgeous you know and I haven't even put in like the full package weather okay I haven't even put in like uh, active sky environment force sky force 3d none of that's coming it's literally just the default weather that Orbex will give you. Where's it gone? Hey, anybody know where there's a uh, city around here?
Well, I don't know. Okay, so got something special planned now. I'm gonna pause the. Uh, gonna pause it for a second here, and we are going to um, load up a Cessna plane in an airport somewhere in Texas, and we're gonna fly at like four or five thousand feet, and we're gonna see what it looks like from down there. Um, so I'll see you all in a moment. 